um, the family had gone, had visited back in Missouri with our aunts and uncles and cousins. And I just found the newspaper uh, a few months ago, actually, that 1949 was a major polio epidemic in southeast Missouri. So here was the whole family uh, in southeast Missouri on the family farms with my 12, 15 cousins, babies, in diapers. That would become important in a minute. Um, we drank water together and we sipped shared cups outside with the chickens and the dogs. Um, and one of the symptoms that my mom said on the way back from Missouri was that we all had cold, horrible cold, fever, like a flu. Uh, but I was the only one to contract polio. Like but it wasn't until 1949 in July that I was out in the front yard. I still remember it. Uh, my dad was pushing a lawnmower. We only had push lawnmowers. And I was kind of walking in front of him, and he had my hands up on the lawnmower and slowly showing me how to mow the grass. And all of a sudden, I fell. And I just didn't have use of my legs. So I think Mom and Dad suspected what was going on. And I underwent four spinal surgeries, as many of the children did, to correct supposedly the scoliosis. And um, in body cast for a number of years. And then I was tutored at home. I didn't go to school until I was in eighth grade. Um, so that was that whole period of learning how to basically walk again for the second time, or the third time. I I'm sure it affected them economically, um, just time constraints, you know. I'm not being able to spend as much time with my sister and brother. Um, I don't know if we really got to know each other that well growing up because I spent so many years in St. Louis in the hospital. And so when I finally came home in the eighth grade, my sister was already out of high school. She's five years older than me. And my brother, two years younger than me, cared nothing about his younger sister. You know, he was in the baseball. He would have been sixth grade, seventh grade, and that type of the age. And so we really didn't have that much um, we weren't close, I guess you would say, because of that separation in the family. And I'm sure that happened to many polio families. We didn't talk about it after it was over. Um, very difficult to talk about those years. And I really wanted to set, put it behind me, too. And so the vaccination is very personal with me. Because if we had had the vaccine, the vaccine in 1948, I wouldn't be sitting here today talking with you about what polio looks like.